Hey guys, it's your girl Design is Me. Welcome back to Design is Me Daily, where we design our own clothes, we design our own business, and we design our own lives. And as you guys know, a really, really important part about designing your own life is making sure that your mental health is in check and making sure that you are prepared to receive the life that you are trying to manifest. In today's video, we're going to be jumping into the infamous bucket hat pattern. I did film the tutorial video for you guys sometime last year, just kind of playing around um, with a pattern that I would have created previously and then constructing the bucket hat on camera for you guys. Now, there was a little bit of trial and error involved in that video, but from then to now, I've really been, you know, doing a lot of experimenting and perfecting my bucket hat pattern. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to draft this pattern yourself and then we're going to do a bit of construction and uh, yeah. You are going to need one single measurement for this video. You're going to grab your measuring tape and the key to getting a really, really accurate measurement for this bucket hat is to wrap the tape around your head and you want to pull as tightly as possible. All right. You don't want your measuring tape to be loose at all else you are going to end up with a really really big bucket hat pattern and baby that is not <laughs> that's not the vibe that we want okay so another way to get a really really accurate measurement is to subtract one inch from the measurement that you would have gotten so my head measures 22 inches i am going to subtract one inch and i'm going to use the 21 inch measurement for this bucket hat pattern let's go ahead and jump into today's video so you're going to need paper of course something to write with your measuring tape and some scissors the first thing i'm going to do is find the center of my paper and then fold it in quarters and from the corner of the paper i am now going to measure three and a quarter inches all the way around and the reason i'm using three and a quarter inches is because we met we divided the circumference which is 21 inches the circumference of my head um by 6.28 and that is basically how we get um the measurement for our circle so this is the top panel that we are creating right now and i am just before i cut it out i am incorporating a half inch for the allowance once that is done, I'm just going to cut that out. And you should have a perfect circle, just like that. Measuring six and a half inches by six and a half inches. I'm just writing the details onto my pattern. Okay, so those two lines that I would have just drawn, six and a half, just confirming the measurement. And we're going to call this the basic bucket hat top panel pattern and all other information that I would have uh, written on my pattern because you guys know I love to get detailed with the writings. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to measure for our side panel and we're simply dividing our circumference by two. So 21 inches is the circumference that we got. We just divided that by two. So we should have 10 and a half. Perfect. Okay. Now the width of my side panel is three and a half. So it should measure 10 and a half by three and a half. Now we're just going to apply our slash and spread method in order to get the shape of the side panel that we want so just like i'm doing i went ahead and folded my paper just to get some guidelines and i am cutting along the lines but i'm not cutting through the paper so exactly what i'm doing you guys could do the same i went ahead and got some fresh paper as well i put a center line down and i'm simply going to use that as my guideline to spread my pattern in order to create a new pattern now you guys could spread as much as you want but it is advised that you spread a quarter inch in between each of the uh, panel pieces all right and you should end up with just about 12 and a quarter let's go ahead and measure once again 12 and a quarter adjust adjust i want you satisfied with the measurements that you're getting just go ahead and add your half inch allowance along this entire pattern oh 
awesome. So just like we did with the other patterns, just go ahead and write what you need to write. Any little reminders, go ahead and name your pattern. We're going to call this the uh, basic bucket hat side panel pattern. Okay, side panel pattern. Adult size. And I always like to put the measurements for the top as well as the base. What we're going to do now is we are going to measure for the brim of our hat. And the brim of our hat is basically the ending measurement. So the base measurement for our side panel was 12 and a quarter. So it's going to be the starting measurement for our brim all right so 12 and a quarter this these lines that we just drew here should measure 12 and a quarter in length and we want our brim to be about three inches so three inches in width exactly what i did with the side panel pattern we're gonna do the slash and spread method once again but this time we are going to spread our uh, pattern a little bit wider than the quarter all right so this was about three eighths that we spread it we spread each uh panel and then we added a three eighths uh measurement to the side as well go ahead and put in your half inch allowance and just remember the more you spread this is the wider uh your brim is going to be okay now after i was done this i decided that i wanted my brim to be a little bit wider so i went back in and yeah i basically compared the shape of my brim as well as my panel my side panel and i told myself all right cool we're gonna open this up a little bit wider so exactly what we just did we apply the slash and spread method once again and i'm just opening it up another quarter of an inch so in total it was about give or take you could spread your pieces half inch and that should be that should be okay we didn't add any extra allowance because the allowance is already there and there you have it that is our pattern because we had the whole brown and white aesthetic happening i just went back in and i um i edited our circular panel i wanted the allowance to be brown to match the rest of our pattern so there you have it i am now just cutting out my pattern pieces because you guys know every time i create a pattern i always uh, do a sample just to test the pattern out so that's what i am doing right now make sure to snip all the notches that need to be snipped and we are simply constructing this pattern now guys i am so sorry that i'm using muslin to construct this sample but all of my samples are done in muslin if you all are interested in seeing me create another bucket hat pattern in a funner fabric or like a nice color then you can definitely let me know and if you guys enjoyed this video do not forget to leave me a like leave me a comment in the comment section below subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in my next one definitely drop any suggestions of things that you would like me to make or any ways that you think i could improve my pattern making or any pattern making videos that you guys would like to see what i'm doing here is because this is a sample i am just jotting down any details that i would want to remember and this is definitely something that you guys could implement into your own creations as well it's really important to just you know be very detailed with the things that you create and um i've been doing this <laughs> every time i create something like i never hesitate to be as detailed as i need to be so yeah 